Today we'll talk about query versus scan. We will look into this topic more closely in the context of DynamoDB. But I believe that the same concept, once you understand it, would be applicable in a in such a different way, but would be applicable in any NoSQL DB or in fact in relational databases also. There is this very important concept of querying and scanning, especially when we talk about scans like table scans and index scans and how does uh, that affects the performance. We'll cover the relational DB scans in maybe in some other video. Today, let's focus on query versus scan in DynamoDB. So to start with, uh, the way I look into this NoSQL DBs, which helped me out in like building the mental model is, think about them as like glorified maps. That's how I look into them. There is this important concept of key and there is a concept of value. So understand this concept and I think a lot of things would start making sense when you want to uh, infer basically how it would be behaving internally. So just to make our make the examples a little more concrete, let's say that uh, let's put a, a DynamoDB table in place. Again, when you know that in the DynamoDB, when you have to make a table, you have something called as partition key and you have a sort key. So you have an option to give sort key, but uh, uh, let's uh, for this example, let's take both the keys together and uh, this together basically be becomes a unique key. So you can think of this like the key of the map uh, that we are going to work with. Okay, and then you have like the whole JSON structure inside that one. Uh, so for this example, let's say that uh, I know I think COVID is going on unfortunately in the world and uh, so let's do one thing. I think we'll take an example of let's say that uh, COVID database itself. You would have seen uh, so many websites displaying those data on daily basis. So let's say that we de define the data model for that one. And what we do is that we make uh, the partition key as country and we make the sort key as the uh, date. And what we will do is that we will put it in the form of YYMMDD. Uh, this is also a very interesting format because your dates would automatically get uh, sorted or sequenced basically. Okay, and then say that we have basically what we are going to do is that we are going to put uh, uh, for each day cases. Then we will put how many recovered. Okay, uh, actually these are all numbers so we can just put it like that. Uh, let's say N1, N2, uh, then we will say uh, unfortunately, but uh, it's also there, that's and then how many tests are done. So we have a very simple structure. This is would act as a key and this would act as a value. Okay, and what you would do is that you will start dumping the data into your DynamoDB table and uh, we will not get into the internal structure of how DynamoDB would be storing. Uh, let's uh, let's focus on uh, as an application developer when you have to deal with this data, how you, how you can deal with the data now when you have to fetch certain things out of that one. Okay, so let's say for an example like if for India, you put a data for let's say 20th October and you put certain things here. Just for simplicity, I'm writing it like C, let's say seven, recovered, let's say two, death, let's say one, and test, let's say 50. Okay. And then you put another record next day, you say 200, 0, 0, 10, 21, let's say C is equal to 8, R is equal to 3, D is equal to 1, and T is equal to 90. Okay. Just for an example. Okay, now how does the query and the scan makes a difference? Okay, so what, how now query would happen on this data? So when we talk about query, we would say that, for example, give me the data points for India for this date. Okay, so you basically what you do is that you give the keys to it. Okay. So essentially it will say that give me for India and the data point. This is a query because 
again look it in the context of the key value pair you are basically giving it a key and it's very easy to figure out for the dynamo db to figure out that where data that data point is lying so it can quickly go get to that data point and give you this whole data so that's how the query works okay again a very simple key value pair you are giving a key to it as the way you do it in the maps and because these are all hashed or there are their own techniques but fundamentally it's about some sort of some type of hashing but it will be very easy for it to reach to that point and get the data point now let's give take an example of scan so what scan would do okay so scan would say that basically let's put a filter expression also you will say that give me all the data points where death is between 1 and 2 or let's say between 1 and 5 just for an example to make it a little more complicated now how this query how uh, how this scan up will happen how the data will return back to you okay so this is we are just giving data points but there are like data points for all the days probably starting somewhere in uh, jan or feb kind of thing of 2020 so what the dynamo db will have to do for this one that it has to scan each of the records whatever is in the database for india and what it will do is that it will go to this record see that whether d is between 1 and 5 if it is there it will to say that okay this record passes the filter criteria so it will collect it okay and that's how this whole thing would happen but now you will have to also be careful about certain other things what that means is that for example when let's suppose uh, let, let's make it let's remove this one and let's understand something so you have now let's say some probably uh just this is an example like uh, uh so there there would be probably right now 300 data points but let's say that give me all the days on which in any country this thing would have happened so now suddenly we are talking about probably a big much larger data set but you can think of the data set can become very large but what is important here is that when you say this one it has to scan each of the record it has to go to this record read this one and figure out whether the death is between 1 and 5 if it is there it will collect it as a as something that is passing the filter criteria okay so this is very important to understand that's why the query and scan differ a lot okay then there is another more interesting thing which happened dynamo db for any scan that happens it can only return 1 mb of data okay what it means what it means is that basically let's suppose you have 100 mb of data for a certain query express for a certain data points that you are interested in looking into for example let's say give me all the countries data where the death is between 1 and 5 now so what it will potentially do it will has to now go and look into each of the data points that is in your da- database okay understand this one this is very important because that's where a lot of performance issues comes in dynamo db so what would happen is that let's suppose this is 100 mb of data so what scan would do it would first go and fetch the first 1 mb of data okay it will check it for all the filter expressions and then if it passes it will collect it if it fails it will discard it and for this 1 mb of data whatever it has collected it will return you back okay in the first scan then what you will have to do it usually sends you another key uh, as part of that one which you can use and say that continue the scan further because i am still not done so what it will do it will now fetch another 1 mb of data do the same process and return you back the result and this you have to keep doing till you exhaust the whole 100 mb of data 
because now we want something for which it has to go and look into each of the data pieces. The implication of this one, of course, it will reflect in your bills, but uh, that's also we would see that you will quickly exhaust your read units, basically, uh, whatever you have assigned to that one. Okay, so this is something you have to be very careful about that one. If you really ask me, never use scan unless you have a very deterministic small amount of data that is not going to grow with time. Otherwise, always design your data in such a way that you can only rely on query. There are other techniques also where you can embed things into the key information and all those things uh, to basically deal with uh, these limitations. There are other techniques also like making secondary indexes. But having said that, I think you have to be very, very careful when you're designing your database so that you only rely on query. Otherwise, you will get big surprises if you have to get into the scan world of the things. Big surprises, both in terms of your bills and you will quickly see that you are exhausting your read units again and again and then your later cost starts filling up because uh, whatever you have provisioned has already been consumed okay so hopefully that gives you an idea of that how what's the difference between query and scan and that is also one of the reason like why we call as no sql databases as design them thinking about queries okay so these databases are designed around queries and uh, once you take care of that one then they will serve your purpose otherwise there are a lot of surprises out Thanks.